Howdy, 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 my darling Aquarius. How are you doing today, friend? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading for June 2023, my darling, and happy Thursday. Uh, let's get into your tarot reading today, today, see where the energy is at, all right? So you have the devil card coming right out, girl. We already coming in swinging for you, Aquarius. So before we go too crazy, you know, calm down your overthinking, my friend, all right? Let's clarify this devil with some cards here. I could already chastise you, Aquarius, in the sense of where I feel like some of you guys are allowing your anxiety to win or your imposter syndrome to win in some regard here where it's like you're starting to spiral and having like an internal spiral because you feel like you're not enough in some capacity but i want to give you some credit first <laughs> let's pull a clarifying card six of swords Ooh. so you're getting out of it you're leaving you're actively leaving the devil here let's do another one <clears throat> four of pentacles oh, okay okay aquarius so and then even the back of the deck here, we have the Five of Cups. <laughs> Aquarius, this is a sense of where I'm laughing, but I'm kind of like, oh, damn. Uh, to me, this reads off as like, you're needing to, you are finally making the choice and leaving the devil in your life, even though it's been really hard for you, because I feel like you invested a lot of uh, energy into it, right? You have that four of pentacles here. And yes, this is inverted for you, friend. I just don't think I need to hold these cards upside down for you to understand the message, right? But there is this sense for you, Aquarius, of where you are actively leaving something that isn't good for you anymore. In a social way, this gives me very much so somebody that, especially with this Queen of Swords here in the reverse, you let your guard down with somebody and I feel like you regretted it. <laughs> you you either regretted it or there's a sense of where you you you've had like this strong tough front on and it's like you chose to be vulnerable with something you chose to be hopeful you chose to bring, allow someone or something in your inner circle here and then it disappointed you right because i do see you invested quite a bit of your being here with that four of pentacles and then perhaps like maybe you're giving someone the benefit of the doubt a little bit too much and you kind of had to just finally be honest with yourself and be like all right i could see i can see the potential in this person here but they're not living up to that potential they're being a devil all right and it may not be a conscious thing on their end here but how they're playing in your life here just isn't good all right could be a good person just not good for you that's like a message i hear now more so like outside of a social life i would more so see this as aquarius to me, this is like a sense of where, how do I want to put this, my friend? I want to pull one more card before I really go into the narrative. Oh, tower card. <laughs> All right, Aquarius. I feel like for you, if this is associated with careers or proje projects of some sort, I feel as if you, and I think this was like even a similar message that you got to last week here of where you're putting a pin on something. I get like this message of where it's like you have like a really solid idea or really are inspired to do something, but I get this sense of where you need to put a pin on it and come back to it at a later point in time because there's some, it gives me this message if you uh, here where it's like there's something right in front of your face that you're going to need to take care of, right? It might even be like a message right now for you, Aquarius, where it's like you may have like, for example, Let's just say that for you, you're wanting to start your own business. You're wanting to, my easiest example is like starting a YouTube channel. And so you start putting some energy into doing certain projects. And I get like this message for you where it's like, you're going to have to just put a pause on doing like that YouTube channel. It's not necessarily you giving up on it, but it is a sense of where it's like, don't feel bad about not waking up every single day and feeding all of your time and resources into your dream right so let me just use myself as an example for a better case here if this was me if i was an aquarius i would see this and be like okay you know maybe my youtube channel is not you know i want a youtube channel but since the algorithm don't like me maybe i need to pull back a little bit right so i can focus on other things here right doesn't mean i quit my youtube channel it just means i need to pull back for now and not feel guilty about it so i can take care of business so i can take care of other things right for whatever the reasoning is right maybe it's just because i need to deal with real life stuff maybe it's just because it's more important for me to put more focus in on other dreams or other projects of mine right i kind of feel like that's more so the narrative especially with this emperor card here it is almost this sense of where it's like yeah not feeling guilty uh aquarius in regards to like 
what you put a pause on because it's not you quitting it's not you giving up on something it's you just realizing that you need to allocate more of your energy and resources into something else for now but it is not something that you need to give up on all right and so if you have been because i get the sense of where i feel like you have been spreading yourself a little bit too thin it's like you're trying to be a really good friend while also trying to be a really good lover and also a son or a daughter or what have you and then it's like you you're trying to do so much that you no longer have enough like energy or resources to take care of business again so it's this sense of where i feel like you might be having a conversation with certain loved ones be like hey you know i gotta pull back for a little bit all right but it's not forever but you there is a sense of where it's like you need to claim back your energy claim back your power for a little bit here to take care of business and then you can go back to doing you know picking back up on something right but right now i think it's really important for you to summon a source now this is in the reverse take care of business take care of like a problem before it grows to be something too much all right again i feel like this is more so aquarius trying to reinforce this message of giving yourself some grace in regards to what you do every single day and um and again i don't feel like you need permission for it but it is like this message where it's like you have permission to like to pause on something and with and be guilt free about it all right so we're gonna move on from that i feel like that was like its own specific message aquarius let's see what else is working uh going on for you here all right <clears throat> let's take a look we'll pull two cards seven of wands in the reverse and eight of soul words y'all are holding yourself back aquarius due to either public perception or again you've been holding yourself back because you have been unable to take action on certain things because of how people would feel all right and so again let's just use myself as the example here maybe i wanted to have an asmr channel maybe i want to have a beauty channel but i don't want to do that right now because i'm afraid if i were to put more energy into having a youtube or having a beauty channel then my people on my youtube uh, my, my tarot channel i'm sucking and <laughs> giving an example my tarot channel um i don't want to disappoint them right and so because of that I don't ever take put energy into the beauty channel, right? And so it's kind of this sense of where release yourself of that guilt and accept the fact that you might disappoint some people. Like, I'm not going to sugarcoat this here, Aquarius, right? There are certain people that you're going to just piss off or um, upset through your decisions. But that's just life, darling, all right? That's always going to happen. And But I think it's really important for you to put more of your energy in something that you already feel called to but you're like and you i get the sense of like you're wanting to put more energy into it but it's just like you're unable to right now because of how how thin you have spread yourself now obviously again this is an example aquarius i don't feel this way about myself all right in my situation every time i use these examples there's always somebody that will either like email and bless their heart like i know they mean well but it's like people take my examples way too serious and it's like honey like please <laughs> trust and believe i already been working on that stuff anyways i don't need to pause for my tarot channel but you get what i'm trying to say here because yeah i think this is really important for you right now aquarius with especially with the ace of cups it's really important for you to make more time with something that you're actively working on there again i keep on hearing like this message where you feel obligated to continue committing to doing something because you don't want to disappoint people or it's just become it's been such a habit for you but you would be <sighs> I'm trying to find the proper words I want to say here for this Aquarius, but I really do feel as if if you were to just make more time with something that you feel so inspired by and accept the fact like that's going to inconvenience certain folks, but you have to do, you have to do something for you like you will be so happy you made that decision later even though right now it feels crappy to make that decision because you don't want to disappoint people you don't want to have to accept the fact that you're not superman or superwoman and that you can take it all on you can juggle everything i know that's something i had to accept as well like again like i had so many things i had so many things i want to do i want to view vlog channel i want to asmr channel makeup channel. i want to do everything but i also have to accept the fact that there are certain things i need to make a choice in doing and if i'm wanting to explore truly explore certain things and it's not just shiny object syndrome which i don't think it's shiny object syndrome for you aquarius because i feel like this has been like a progressive build-up thing for you like 
it's really important for you to make more time for something and it's okay to just like stop spreading yourself so thin because currently right now ace of swords in the reverse here for you aquarius it's really holding you back from your creative freedom now you really do get the sense of something's like really holding you back and then i really hope it's not people that's causing to causing you to hold yourself back all right make more time for something all right even if you have to sacrifice other things even if you have to put a pause on certain projects that you've been working on for years it's okay it's still going to be there there's still the people that care about you are still going to be there right now it's just really important for you to give something your all and i feel like right now you're unable to give something your all all right i know this reading has been all over the place aquarius so i do apologize for that but my regulars always know that when it comes to reading y'all's energy y'all are always my most fun zodiac sign to do because it's always trying to like decipher all the different messages because y'all always have so much going on especially internally um it's always really fun to do so i do apologize it's been a little bit difficult for uh, to keep up with me in this way you might need to watch this back a couple times you know self promo but no i do feel like there's a one more message that needs to come in here so we'll do three more cards <laughs> Aquarius. <laughs> oh, honey. All right. So these, I'm going to show them like this, but I'm going to flip them over. All of these are inverted. All right. I, I already hear the clicks. A lot of y'all clicking out right now are like, oh, no, Velka, I don't want this. Aquarius, honey. So you have the five of pentacles, the nine of swords, and the hanged man. All right. All in the reverse. All right. To me, Aquarius to me this is like you are finally having to come face to face with something that you did not want to have to accept and I really feel as if for you like I don't want to put this to me Aquarius I'm receiving this energy as there you have you have had i don't want to just say transformations because i feel like that's not the proper word for it but i guess we have to use that as a blanket term for now you have transformed so much throughout recent months aquarius but the thing about it is you know what this gives me it's like someone that has done a lot of shadow work and they have been so busy with the shadow work with the personal development that they've never taken any time to come up back up for air it's like you've done all this personal development, but because you haven't paused on the personal development in a long time, you've just been in this in this hustle mode here, you are not able to see how far you have come. You're not able to see how much work you have done on yourself. Like, I feel like it's been a long time since you paused, taken your emotion out of your own situation, and just really appreciate, like, how much you've done for yourself and what you've been able to accomplish. I think it's time for you to take a pause, Aquarius, because I feel like you're seeing yourself a little bit too critical, right? You, you're, you have, you're having such an insane cr critical energy on yourself that you are beating yourself up to the point of where it's counterproductive at this point, right? There's a level of self-awareness that really helps a person to really elevate in their life in whatever capacity. But when you practice too much self-awareness and you don't take any time to just be a human and just, you know, you know, be content with where you're at. It gets to the point of where you're so critical on yourself that you convince yourself you're not ready to do certain things or you it's almost as if some of you are like addicted to like being anxious or addicted to just being abusive to yourself here and I think it's doing you a disservice because I feel like at this point in time, it's holding you back from having a full transition over to the next stage here. No, no, no. Very specific message once again. And I know most of the Aquarians are not going to even be uh, listening this far to get this message, but I think someone needs to really hear this here. I think you need to like pause and get some air. All right. I feel like you've been way too deep into something that you are not able to see yourself for who you are now it's like you still see yourself from like a year or two ago or a year or two ago and so you need to come up for some air and realize how far you've come because it's not going to be wasteful because it's through this new sense of awareness like when you're able to see yourself for who you are and like where you are at right now it's going to really help motivate you inspire you to really go forward 
with a lot higher of a sense of self-worth. All right. So that's what I got, Aquarius. I'm going to close out this tarot reading because it's getting a little bit weird now. But um, hopefully something in here resonated with you. And if it did, you already know what to do, my friend. Until next time, Aquarius, I love you so much, darling. Bye.